Heartstopper, Volume 4, by Alice Osman, includes a teacher's mini-comic. August 10th. Is it too soon to tell Nick? We've been going out for like four months, although it feels like longer. We decided we're officially boyfriends. We've been to Paris together, and we came out like... We came out to like the whole school year. Me. We're dating. No, that does make sense. You can always tell me stuff like that. I even told him about my weird eating thing, even though I'm totally fine and he doesn't need to worry. But should I tell him I love him? What if he doesn't feel the same? Chapter 5. Love. Nick, I love you. Um, I mean, I'm in love with you. I just wanted you to know. And you don't have to say it back yet. Or ever, I guess. I mean... I hope you do say it, it one day, because I'm properly in love with you, and I hope you'll feel the same way eventually, but please don't feel pressured to. Dunk. God. Tori. Oliver. What are you doing? Stop spying on me. Stop declaring your love so loudly then. Haha. <laughs> Ugh. Oliver, you're, you, you're getting so heavy. Why were you talking to yourself? I wasn't. You were. We heard you. You were like, oh, Nick, I love you so much. That's it, tickle time. Ah, no. Ah, <laughs> That's what you get for teasing your big brother. You want to, you want to tell Nick you love him. Um... Yeah. So tell him then. It... It's not that easy. It's pro probably too early. And if he doesn't feel the same, it'll just make things weird. And I don't want him to do the awkward I love you too thing just because he feels obligated to say it back. You don't think he feels the same? You've been hanging out all summer. He's literally obsessed with you. Ah. When are you next seeing him? Today. We're all going to the beach. And then Nick's going on holiday for three weeks. I won't see him till we go back to school. So it's my last chance to tell him this summer. Sit up. 
tell him today. No. Yes. Charlie? Yes? If you say I love you to Nick, does that mean you you'll stay together forever? <laughs> well, I hope so. Yay! If Nick joins our family, then I'll have two big brothers. And that's more than an anyone in my class. Charlie, Nick's here to pick you up. Okay, just coming. Grab. What are you up to today? I don't know. Might go into town. I need a new school bag. You could come to the beach with us. Nah, I don't like the sun. And how is your mom? Yeah, she's good. Stressing out our... Str stressing about our uh, holiday. <laughs> Hey. Hey. What? Um, just never seen you in a tank top. Never seen you in a cap. Ah. Nick, guess what? Charlie, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Here we are, finally. Yay. L. Okay, anyone else? To pick up? No, we're meeting Tara, Darcy, and Sahar there. How are you doing, Charlie? Your fam your family well? I'm good, thanks. Miriam? I'm good, thanks, Miriam. Yeah, they're all good. Mom, can we go, please? Or can we please go? Okay, okay. I'm driving you to the coast out of out of the goodness of my heart and this is the treatment I get. Mom, we're here. Thank God. I'm about to pee myself. L, don't forget to offer them round. I won't. Love you. Give me a call when you're ready to come home. Okay, love you too. What are they? Alad says. Tamea. Egyptian fel felafel. Falafel. My mom my mom's gotten super into Egyptian cooking again since she got back from visiting my grandparents out there. Tao. Can I have one? You had breakfast like an hour ago. Hey! There, there they are. They're here. Hey. Sahara, Tara, and Darcy. Paris Squad is back together. Chatter, chatter. Pull.
cart. <laughs> what? Nothing? Nothing? Peak. I love you. Oh, um, well, I thank you, but I think it's a bit too, a bit soon for me to say that. Sorry. Charlie? Charlie? Charlie! Hey, can you do my back? Oh, hey, sure. Okay, all done. Thanks. Do you have some on? Oh, no. I don't really burn. I just tan. Snap. You should still put some on. I really don't want to. No. Nick, uh, you're all sticky and gross. Char, I, I really don't want you to die of skin cancer. For God's sake. Ugh, fine. Just stop hugging me. Nuzzle. Nick, you coming? Yeah, one sec. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. Oh, yeah. It's just hot. Wanna come in the sea? Um, maybe in a bit. Okay. Grab. Squeeze. Rub, rub. Splat. Nick! Oh my god, that is so gross. Lean. Don't forget to put sunscreen on your feet. Oh my god. Nick, stop kissing your boyfriend and hurry up. Stand. Rub. Haven't you seen him shirtless like a hundred times in the changing room at rugby, rugby practice? This is an entirely different context. Context. You do seem a bit stressed, though. What's up? I want to tell Nick that I'm, um, in love with him. Dude, you're already dating. I know that. I just, I really want to tell him, and, well... You know I get ri I get stressed out about stuff like this. Yeah, I know. You're kind of a stressed out person generally. <laughs> yeah. How about a snack to cheer you up? Um I will accept sn some snacks. Tao, Alid, where have you been? The toilets so we're so far away. The, 
so, so far away. You took your hair down. Yeah, so? Looks nice. You're still not allowed any snacks until lunchtime. You literally just offered Charlie some. He's not feeling great. He's allowed some. Charlie? Maybe in a bit. Thanks, though. Splash. I'm not going any further in. It's too cold. Darcy! Splash! You're welcome. You're lucky I love you. Ah! The donut's floating away. Grab it! A few weeks ago, tap, 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 tap. How to support someone with an eating disorder. Important to encourage the person to seek uh, treatment as soon as possible. There are also many ways to help blah, 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 blah. There are many different uh, eating disorder, including anorexia, okay, I can't read all that, tap, 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 what do we do now, boof? Hey, Nick, come play volleyball. Okay. Yay! A while later. Please say it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Thank God. I need chips. Hey, Nick. Hey, Sahar. I needed to talk to you about something. Sure, what's up? So, I'm moving to Turum Grammar for sixth form. Oh. Yeah, and I'm pretty nervous about it. I know you're, you've uh, had girls in year 12 and 11, or 12 and 13. Uh, for ages, but it's still mostly boys, isn't it? Yeah, I think we get about 10 girls every year compared to like 200 boys. That's what I thought. I'm pretty nervous, so... I mean, starting sixth form is scary on its own, but moving schools too makes it even more scary. Are you nervous about starting sixth form? Oh, um, I've been so busy this summer, I, I guess I've been thinking about other things. How to help someone with an eating disorder. Well, can we hang out at school? I'd be nice to have it. It'd be nice to have one friend there. Ah, 
Yeah, of course. I can intru in introduce you to the rugby lads. The rugby lads? They're nice, I promise. Oh my god, this is so much better. Sand is awful. We got chips. Uh, and fish and sausages. Okay, we got chips and fish and sausages. Lunch, yay. I'm starving. I am starving. Please say you got me iced tea. Here, Charlie. Pick, pick. Stop, gross, don't, bad, can't, no, disgusting. Charlie? Whisper. You okay? Huh? Oh. Guess I'm a slow eater today. <laughs> Forming a plan. Oh, hi there. Hi. Wanna go somewhere else to eat? No, I... I don't want to, the others to notice. We could go get ice cream or something. Nick, I... I can't. I can't today. I'm sorry. Hey, are you two gonna keep flirting, or are you gonna help us eat s these snacks? Squeeze. <laughs> We're all full up. Sorry. Fine. More for us. Thanks. It's okay. Those falafels were so good. I can't believe your mom made them. Yep, mom says they're, they're not as good as the ones my grandmother m makes back in Egypt. Do you visit there much? To see your grandparents? Well, not anymore. It's really dangerous to be trans in Egypt. You can get arrested, or attacked, or worse, just for being who you are. I mean, that stuff happens everywhere, but it's more common there, so I haven't been since I was, like, 11. Don't worry, you have us. Yes, we shall be your replacement grandparents. <laughs> Reasons why I should be your new grandma. One, I'm great at making cookies. Two, I'm extremely wise. Three, if I had any money, I would give you some. Four, blah 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 blah. Darcy doesn't get, get on. Darcy doesn't get on with her own family. Uh, they're horrible people. They're not just homophobic. They're mean to her all the time. They criticize her about everything. 
When we met, I assumed she had the best life because she was so confident and happy. But I realized that people can be going through stuff, and you just have no idea. I wish I'd told her sooner. I'm here for you. I see what you're going through. Squeeze. Actually, it's all a sob story to, persu to persuade Tara's parents to adopt me. But then we would, ha but then we would be siblings, and li li literally, uh, no one wants that. But I could sleep in your room. My mom would would make you sleep in the spare room, and you know it. Are you out to your parents, Nick? My mom, yeah, but not my dad. We don't see each other much. I don't really know uh, how he'd re react. But I have you, but, but I have you a lot, so I'm okay. Paris Squad have each other's backs. Paris Squad? Hmm? Gang? Peeps? Oh wait, I know. The Paris Gods. Squad is fine. Hey, we going in the sea? You know I don't have a swimsuit. We could just paddle. Fine. Poke. Hey. Come up, come in the water with me. I I really don't want to take my shirt off. Keep it on. It'll dry in the sun. We're so far out already. Too cold. Okay, that's far enough. Agreed. We should go under. Are you sure? No. What if we freeze to death? I'll take the risk. Bubble. <laughs> Gasp. Hey, I found a s shallower bit. Sploosh. Haha. <laughs> Nick! Pull. Splash. For God's sake, I hate you. Tell him today. Nick, I wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, yeah, me too. Really? Oh, um, you go first. Okay, well, I... I think you have an eating disorder. I've been doing some research, and I know you don't want me to, like, try to cure you, but 
I care about you so much, and I can see how much worse it's gotten over over the past blah 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 blah. Are you... are you angry at me? No? No, it's... um, I... Oh. Was that what you wanted to talk about, too? Swim. Yeah. If it was that... If it was that... What would you... What, what, what would I do? You could tell your parents. But I don't know if they'd believe me. Most people think eating, eating disorders are a girl thing. But they're not. I looked it up. We can show your parents articles and websites about it. We can explain and and then they can help. Yeah, we could try. Am I dropping you back at your house, Charlie? Can you drop me at Nick's, please? Crunch. Munch, munch. Urgh! I'm leaving for Menor Menorca in 12 hours and I can't find my goggles. I bet David stole them. Flop. Munch. I can't believe you're going away for three whole weeks. That's the longest time we'll have spent apart since we met. Poke. What, you gonna miss me? Maybe a tiny bit. A tiny bit? Rude. Fine. A seizable bit. Snuggle. You know I'm gonna miss you a lot. Kiss. <laughs> okay, I need to shower. I can still feel sand everywhere. Wanna watch a movie after? As long as it's not a Marvel film. Oh yeah, I forgot you have no taste. Hey, I'll, I'll only be ten minutes. Shut. Sink. Numb. Roll. Lift. Nick's so in love with you, it's a little unbearable to watch sometimes. Whoosh. Ding! Mom, are you on your way home? It's past 9 p.m. Tap, tap, tap. I was gonna watch a movie at Nick's. We agreed 9 p.m. curfew. Come home, please. Ah, uh, fine. Whoosh.
Knock, knock. Nick? Yeah? Um, my mom said I have to go home. Oh, okay. Hang on, give me two minutes and I'll be- I'll come walk you home. No, it's fine, I just- You know when we were talking in the sea? Yeah? Oof. Sit. I lied. What do you mean? When you asked me whether the eating thing was what I wanted to talk, up, talk to you about, that wasn't actually what, what I was going to talk to you about. I was actually going to say... I love you. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, bye. I can walk myself home. Wait! Tumble. Charlie, hang on! Charlie! Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Clothes, I need clothes. Thunder. <laughs> Rumble. Zoom. What are you doing, young man? Where did Charlie go? He said he had to go home. Why? Nikki, you could at least put some clothes on. Swing. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Rub. I'm such an idiot. Pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 pat. Turn. Charlie! Huff, huff, huff. Pat, 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 pat. Yes? Grab. Oh. Huff, huff. Huff, huff. Hi. Huff, huff, huff. Huff, huff. Um, you are not wearing many clothes. You said it to me while I was in the shower? Sorry, and don't you dare say sorry. Okay. Say it again. Can you say what you said again? It's embarrassing. Want me to say it first then? Uh, I definitely said it first. I'm not letting you have this one. I love you. And you don't have to say it back. I just wanted you to, I just wanted you to know because I'm not going to see you for weeks and 
I love you too. I love you so much. You're not just saying it because I said it. Charlie! Come here, you idiot. You're still damp. Yeah, well, you said I love you for the first time while I was in the shower. Oh my god, why did I do that? Why are you... Why are we like this? Because you're Charlie, and you love me, and I love you. So can I walk you home now? You're literally not wearing a shirt. I thought you liked it. I saw you peeping at me, or peeping at the beach. I... I was not peeping. It's okay. It's allowed. We're in love. Oh my god, shut up. Also, I need my jumper back. Oh. Charlie, you have like five of my jumpers already. Maybe so. Shut. Tiptoe. Charlie? You're late. Go on. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Okay. Well, did you tell him? Since when were you getting a haircut? Answer the question, Charles. Yeah, I told him. So it was a good day then? Yeah, it was. Me and Nick, we talked about... Um... Yeah. It was good. Vroom. Hi, I love you a lot. Hi, I love you too. I love you. I like saying that, or saying it. I miss you so much already. Are you even at the airport yet? Laugh out loud. No. How are you... How are my two favorite nephews? Hi, Auntie Diane. How are you, Rich? Oh, you know, waking two four-year-old four-year-olds uh, up at five a.m. is always fun. My little cousins, say hi. OMG, can I come to Menorca? Menor Menorca, with you, please. Plane leaves in ni ninety minutes. Can you run fast? Can you run that fast? I could try. I could fit in your suitcase. We've landed. Come back. Are you going to talk to your parents about the eating thing? I'll try. Have you arrived yet? Send me a pic of the villa. Tap, tap, tap. Did your phone run out of charge? Delete.
Charlie, I told you to tidy up in here. Yeah, give me a minute. Now, please. Nick? Charlie, hi. I'm so sorry, there's no phone signal or Wi-Fi at our villa. I had to walk into town. Ch- So. Fom. W. The. Nick. Can't. Bad, bad signal. Charlie, you're not tidying. Hang on, I'm talking to Nick. Stand. Charlie, you're all crackling. Put down, put, put the phone down. Charlie, are you there? Click, boop, 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 boop. You know what? We needed to have a talk about Nick anyway. You shouldn't be staying late around his house. You're too young to be having sex. What? We're not... We're... We're... Not... I'm not stupid, Charlie. You come home yesterday yesterday wearing his clothes. But and you shouldn't be hang, hanging around hanging out with he, him every day. You have summer work. You're about to go into your GCSE year. What? So I'm not allowed to have a boyfriend now? Don't twist my words, Charlie Spring. I'm just, I'm just making sure you don't mess up the other parts of your life while you're obsessed with a f school romance. It's not just a school romance. I love him. Jane, come on, you're being too harsh. He can't run his whole life around his boyfriend. I'm just trying to look out for him. Are you gonna talk to your parents about the eating thing? I'll try. Squeeze. Just leave me alone. Stomp, stomp. Slam. Julio, you can't just undermine me like that in front of him. But you know you're being too harsh. I just always say the wrong thing to him. Ah. I think single is pretty bad everywhere here. I hope this message gets through. I'll try and message you as often as I can. I love you. It's okay. I love you too. The first week. Ha ha ha. Nick, why didn't why didn't Nelly come? Nelly doesn't like planes. She's staying with Gramps and Grandma. You'll have to bring your boyfriend next year, Nick. Yeah, I'd like that. Tch, lame. Ugh, don't be mean, David.
Charlie. Reply to the group chat. Sorry, I was busy. Are you coming to the cinema next week or not? Yeah. How come you're so bad at replying to messages? The second week. Hey, how's your day? Hey, you've barely said a word tonight. You okay? Just missing Nick, or is there something else? Shoelaces undone. It was fine. Went, went to the cinema with the gang. How about you? Smack. What the f- David! What? We're on holiday. Get off your phone. Just fuck off. Oh, don't throw us, drop. You've been on your phone to your- to your little boyfriend non-stop. Didn't you- di didn't know you gays were so codependent. And you haven't even told Dad about him. That's gonna be awkward on your birthday. Grab. Third week. Tori. You couldn't have dressed up a bit for dinner? Your grandparents have come all all the way uh, from the south of Spain. I think I look fine. Just go and fetch your brothers. Just go and fetch your, your brothers, please. They'll be here soon. I roll. Knock, knock. Charlie? Hey, I think the grandparents will be here soon. Okay. Dad's cooked a roast, so prepare for... Dad's cook... Dad's cook a... cooked a roast, so prepare for an absolutely flavorless meal. Okay. What? Are you a... What was that about my cooking skills? Nothing. Well, I'll be down in a sec, Dad. Mm. Can you believe it's our last night in Men Menroca already? These three weeks have flown by. I'm sort of missing good old English weather. Hola. Abvelo. Ab Charlie. Como te ven. Van there. Whatever. Pat pat. Ah. They are. They are still not teaching you good Spanish at that school. Is something wrong, Charlie? Stand. I... yeah. Sorry. I don't feel well. I'm... I don't feel well. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Ah, I'll be right back. Charlie? Nick? Can you hear me? We're at the restaurant in town, but... Yes. 
Yeah, I can hear you. Thank God. I've missed you so much. I miss you too. Tell me about your holiday. Who's he talking to? Probably his clingy little boyfriend. Be quiet, David. I've had enough of your snitty little comments this holiday. If you're going to be nasty, you can stay home next year. Huff. So, is everything else okay? You know, with the eating thing? Nick, I... I can't tell my parents about it. Wh why not? I just can't tell them stuff. My mom isn't like your mom. We don't, we don't talk about things, emotional things. We just, she just gets angry at me. But, Charlie, I... I don't know what to do. Knock, knock. Charlie? Feel better? Yeah. Coming back to the table? Yep. Leave. I have to go. I love you. I... Click. Love you. Now what? <laughs> pap, pap, sploosh. Baby, you've been down here for nearly 20 minutes. Sweetheart, what's wrong? I think Charlie has an eating, eating disorder. And I don't know what to do. An eating disorder. Are you sure? Yeah, he... He just can't eat sometimes. A lot of the time. He finds eating really difficult. And it makes him so anxious. An anxious. And... It's gotten really bad lately, and I've been trying to get him to talk to his parents, but he said he just can't. He can't talk to them about stuff like that, and I just don't know what to do now. I don't know. I don't want to force him to, to eat because that would just make him upset and stressed, but if I don't do anything... Then he'll, he'll just, I love him, and I'm really scared. Sob. You're 16, sweetheart. This is a lot to put on your 16-year-old six, shoulders. It's okay to be scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix it. Maybe you can't, darling. What? But I have to. I'm his boyfriend. I know, baby. And you, and you love him so, so much. I'm sure he loves you too. And I know you feel like it's your job to save him. I know it feels like you're both each other's whole world, but that dependency isn't healthy for either of you. Charlie needs to s seek help from someone who isn't your, isn't his, uh, si sixteen-year-old boyfriend. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist. 
someone who knows about eating disorders and know and how to treat them. Love can't cure a mental illness. So, so I just can't help him? I didn't say that. Sniff. How then? Well, there are lots of ways. You can just be there to listen, to talk, to cheer him up if he's having a bad day. And on the bad days, hey, hey, your mom let me in. How are you feeling? My throat hurts so bad. Want to watch a movie? Mm, too tired. We could just nap. I'll make, I'll make you sick too. I don't mind. You can ask what... What do you can ask what you could do to make things easier? So, and on the bad days, you can ask what you could do to make things easier. Standing by his side, even when things are hard. but also knowing that sometimes people need more support than just one person can give. That's love, darling. You love him very much, don't you? Nod, nod. How about we make a plan? When we get home, me and you can sit down and do some pa some proper research about how we could help Charlie talk to his parents or to a doctor. Does that sound okay? Yeah. I can't wait to see you at school tomorrow. Same. I miss you. Get me the fuck out of here. You mean you actually want to go back to school? Literally anywhere better than this house. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah, I feel fine. Sure? Yes, I promise. Concern. Well, you've definitely given me more... G give me, given me your cold now. I said I'm better. It's okay. I know you can't, can't resist me because I'm so sexy. For God's sake. I can't believe I'm a sixth former. I always forget you're a year older than me. Same. I feel so old. But I'm so excited about A-levels. You're excited about A-levels? Yeah. Art, textil te textiles, film studies, and English, and no more P.E. ever again. So, meet you after school? Yeah. 
can I kiss you goodbye? We're literally just going to school. But it's what all the couples do outside the school gate. You are such a dork. I swear to God. You'd better go before someone sees us sitting here together. Why? Is it forbid forbidden to lift to lift share with another teacher? Well, now that we're both teachers at Turum, we should be careful. The kids won't shut up about it if they know we're dating. So we're dating then. I sure hope we're, we are. We spent the whole summer seeing each other. See you at lunch. Nicholas Nelson, your group 12. Form group Hamlet 5. A-level choices. Psychology, biology, physical education, geography. Nick! Christian, Otis, and Sai. Jesus, Nick. Where have you been all summer? In it, I feel you... I feel like you just disappeared. Oh, yeah. Well, I was in... Menorca? Menorca? Another word that I can't pronounce. For like three weeks. So... So it's nothing to do with that fa the fact that you... So it's nothing to do with the fact that you have a boyfriend? Oh, we're just putting that out there then? So, you guys heard about me and Charlie? I mean, I think everyone in our year knows. Sorry if we made you feel awkward about telling us. Your good mates comment probably didn't help. That wa that was one time. When will you stop bringing that up? Can't believe Nick's the first one of us to be in a relationship. Same. What do you mean you can't believe? Nick. Sahar. Hey. Guys, this is Sahar. Hey. Hey. I kind, kind of forgot girls were allowed into Turum for a sixth form. Not gonna lie. Um, can you guys help me find my form room? Yeah, we can show you the way. Oh man, Mr. Miller's your form tutor? Ping. Charlie. Hey, are you at school yet? Nearly. Hurry up, I need to kiss you. Squeeze. Hmm. 
Hey. Hey. No kiss? Hug first. Okay. Okay, it still feels weird to kiss in public. Well, it's not like we want an audience. They're dating. <laughs> this cl classroom is free. Come on. We're, uh, we've only got five minutes before form. Pull. Missed you. So much. Yeah. Missed you too. Wait, you're wearing the sixth form tie. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm dating a sixth former. So? So that's hot. Charlie. Welcome back. Hamlet 5. If you're worried about a loved one, it can be difficult to bring up the topic of mental health. Even with those closest to us, you may be worried about saying the wrong thing or upsetting the person in question. But breaking the silence can be the first important step toward, towards rec recovery. Here are some tips for talking to a loved one about their mental health. Okay, class. Settle down, please. I'm Mr. Farouk. I'll be your form tutor this year. Did you fall asleep? <laughs> Whoops. I'm so tired. Do you want to come around mine on Saturday? Obviously. It's your birthday. My dad is going to be there, so... I was thinking I could introduce you to him. Oh, yeah. Nick and Charlie, be quiet, please. Saturday. Latin. Ew. Happy birthday. Dring. Open. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Are you okay? My dad couldn't come. He said something came up. I mean... I guess he never said he'd definitely come, but yeah. Drop. It's fine. I don't really care. Well, we're still gonna have a super fun birthday afternoon. Seventeen. Ten time driving lessons voucher. Love, Mom.
Wait, isn't this... Charlie, oh my god. Is this every single jumper you've borrowed? You sure you you want to give these back? Well, they don't smell like you anymore. <laughs> you you like my smell. I don't make it weird. Nick. Wrestle. I like your smell too. You're making it weird. Don't care. Wait. You have to keep one. Lean. Look. I wore this one yesterday. Do you like me wearing your clothes? <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's an actual present in the bottom of the bag. Don't judge my wrapping skills. Tear. Memories. Photo album. You gave me this, you gave me a photo of us in the snow, so here's one of us in the sun. Love, Charlie. Oh, shoot. You gave me a photo of us in the snow, Here, so here's one of us in the sun. Love, Charlie. Uh, I know it's kind of cheesy, but the rest of the album is empty, so you can... Oh. Womp. You like it, then? I love you. Huh? Char, you said wake you up at eight. What? It's eight already? Ugh. I don't want to go home. Start the conversation. Number one, choose a place you both feel safe. Charlie, wait a sec. Yeah? Um, you know I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I, well, mention things that have concerned you. Let them know you care about them. I'm really glad we've talked about, you know, um, mental health stuff, but I'm re still really worried about you. Try to avoid centering the conversation around food or weight. Not just about the eating thing. I... I've noticed you've been really stressed and tired. Some days, you just seem really sad. And sometimes, I've made things worse. I said the wrong thing, or I didn't know what to do.
I can't fix this. I really want you to talk to your parents, or a doctor, or something like that. I can't sob. I know it's hard, but I'm so worried about you and I, I can't make you better. Sob. I just don't see how I could ever get better. You can. I promise you can. You just have to ask for help. Nod, nod. If they acknowledge that they need help, encourage the person to seek it as soon as possible. What if my parents say I'm faking it, or, or they get angry? What if I came with you? I don't know, just to hold your hand? They probably wouldn't get angry if I was there. Nod, nod. Um, also, I read online that sometimes it's easier to write it down. Maybe that sounds a bit silly, but... Would that help you talk to them? Do you have a pen and paper? Mom? Dad? Charlie? Oh, Nick. It's a bit late for you to be around, isn't it? He's not staying long. I need to talk to you about something. What's up? Um, well... I wrote it down. Uh, because it's kind of hard to talk about. Charlie, what's going on? My mental health has been really bad lately. I've been finding eating really difficult. I feel like there's a voice in my head that's not that's not me telling me bad things will happen if I eat or if I do things the wrong way. I and that what and that voice has just been getting louder and louder. Sometimes it makes me really stressed or tired or angry. And I think I've been like this for quite a long time, but I just didn't want to admit it. I want to figure out how to manage it. So I was thinking I, so I was, I was thinking I could go to the doctors. I, w I want to get better. Chapter Six: Journey. Nearly four months later. Pshh. Come on now, we're nearly home. Nikki, you home? 
is chucking it down. I'm making tea. Someone's gonna need a bath, huh? Rub, rub. Earth. Sorry, Henry. You're still too little for walks. When's Charlie getting here? In a couple of hours. We're not leaving for the party till 8. Okay, well, make sure you wait for Gramps and Grandma to get here first, okay? And finish tidying your room. New Year Tidy Room. I don't think that's a saying. It should be. Have a good evening. You too. Tidy, tidy. Tidy, tidy. What have you found, Henry? Oh. I guess I haven't written in here for a while. December 31st. So, I haven't written anything for a while. The past few months have been stressful, but I think things are looking up. Although, you know that that saying that things some you know that saying that things sometimes get worse before they get better. Yeah. I think I understand that now. So back in September, Charlie got a GP appointment. Success. He said he hates going to the doctor for anything. I mean, I can relate. 9.15 a.m. Great, thank you. But this was extra scary. So what can I help you with today, Charlie? For obvious reasons, the doctor was helpful and referred Charlie to an eating disorder service. But the waiting list was so long. Appointment date, Tuesday, January 4th. His first appointment wasn't until January. And things started to get really bad after that. His eating disorder got worse. I could tell but he wouldn't talk to me about it. I'm fine. He skipped school a lot, which made his mom mad at him, uh, like all the time. Hey, you off school today too? His thoughts and behavior about food became obsessive. It didn't make logical sense anymore. I guess it never did, really, but he'd always lie about it. I'll just eat at home. And you know, he told me he used to self-harm. Well, that kind of started again. I kind of, I, I think mostly because of the stress of everything else. 
Sorry, it's not your fault. I didn't know what to do except just be there for him. But things just got harder for him. There was one night in October where his parents had to take him to A&E. I just feel so stupid, but, but I can't stop it. I know, it's not your fault. He knew the compulsions made no sense, but he didn't know how to stop them. Neither did I. Charlie's mental health was at best while he was there, and they told him that it would be best if he spent some time as an inpatient, but it, it, but it was his choice. Mental health treatment in hospital. Most treatment for mental illnesses is done outside hospital. However, if you are experiencing a mental health crisis, staying in hospital may be the best way to keep you safe and provide you with the treatment you need. While each hospital is different, this leaflet will give you an uh, overview of, of uh, what, you, what to expect. Why, why might I need to go to the hospital. How do I ac access hospital treatment? How do I prepare for a hospital stay? Can I be forced to go to the hospital? What happens inside a psych psych psychiatric uh, hospital? What types of words are there? What happens when I leave? More information on mine.org.uk Charlie said yes. It, uh, it uh, happened really fast. I was scared. He was scared. I swear you're getting more emotional than me. Shh. I mean, I only knew about psycho psychiatric hospitals from movies, and the nearest available space at a ward was a two-hour drive away. We knew it was the right thing to do. He had, he had to at least try and see if it would help. It was weird being at school without Charlie. It couldn't, I couldn't stop worrying about him. We spoke on the phone when we spoke on the phone when we could, and obviously I visit a lot, visited a lot too. But I kept wishing I knew how to, I knew how he was feeling all the time. Was he homesick? Was the treatment helping? Was it making things worse? Was he lonely? Was he bored? Had he made some friends? What is it like in a psychiatric 
hospital. Your experience can depend on the hospital you stay at, what kind of treatment you receive, and your feelings about being in hospital. However, some common aspects of psychiatric hospitals include access to talking uh, therapists and medication, trained staff on site to support you, a daily routine structure. There are also some potential uh, disadvantages. You will be away from family and friends, and visits might only be permitted at set times. You c you can't always decide how you spend your time. Staff may need to search you if they... Oh. It feels so awful to uh, complain about my feelings when Charlie's been going through all of that, but I guess... I've been pretty anxious that these past few months. But I talk to mom about it a lot. That helps. I've been hanging out more with my rugby mates too. Now that I'm out to them, I feel like I can just be myself around them, and we can just hang out and be chill. Charlie asked me not to tell them what was going on with them, uh, going on with him. He was kind of scared of it spreading around school. They knew he was off school because he was unwell, though, because he was unwell, though, so uh, they've been supportive in their own way. Charlie said I could help, or Charlie said I could keep the Paris squad updated. Darcy, did you get the card for Charlie? Yep, I got a giant one. It's the length of my arm. OMG. Nick, does Charlie have access to a DVD player? I was thinking we could send him some fun films to watch. Yeah, he does. Good idea. Uh... He li literally said not that he literally said they uh, don't have Netflix or anything, uh, and they've only got movies from like uh, two thousand five. I got the gift basket and some stickers and stuff to make it pretty. I got him some art stuff. I got him. Uh, a couple of books. He said he likes to read, so I hope that's okay. Do you all want want to come back to mine after school tomorrow? You can sign the card, and we can decorate the gift basket and stuff. Also, you can come on a walk with Nellie and me if you want. I would like to meet Nellie. I also would like to meet Nellie. I think we all would like to meet Nellie, to be honest. He didn't want them all visiting. I think it would have been too overwhelming. But they still found ways to help. And they helped me too. I'd go with Charlie's family to visit him a couple of times a week. Part of me wished I could uh, 
go every day, but he needed space. I got to know Tori and Oliver pretty well during all the all the long car journeys. Tori's kind of a qu Tori's kind of quiet, but I think she likes me. I don't know. She's kind of intense. Dear Tori, we had art therapy today, so I thought I'd make you a card. I was going to save it for your birthday, hence the cake, laugh out loud. But, uh, nah, you can have it now. Sorry for putting you through all, all this shit recently. At least I got to improve my art skills. We can be happy about that. Laugh out loud. I don't know. Love you, Charlie. Supposed to be you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it took a few weeks and a lot of visits, but Charlie started to seem a little better. Staying in a hospital was a big risk. It probably isn't helpful for everyone, but it was for him. <laughs> Tal's always trying to get me to watch this. He can actually focus on his mental health without worrying about school and what everyone thought. Hey. Hey. He came home in early December. Just in time for the Christmas season. He's still dealing with a lot of... He's still de dealing with a lot, so he stayed off school for the rest of the of term. Christmas Day was especially hard. He came around mine after a big argument with his mom. He got to meet our, our new puppy, Henry which cheered him up a bit, but it was a difficult day. It's not like seven weeks in hospital made him magically okay again. I know I'm not an expert or anything, but f from what I've learned uh, over the past few months, mental illnesses take a long time to go away completely, if they ever do. This is probably only the start of a long journey. But he's definitely getting doing better. He's having therapy sessions with his guy with this guy called Geoff. Wanna go come, come over today? Yeah. I have therapy 3 through 4 p.m., but I can come over after that. Yeah. He hasn't self-harmed since October. Nelly! And he's been thinking differently about how to deal with, with his anorexia. An anorexia. So could... So... Could we make this one today? Yeah. Meal plans. We've been messaging a lot while I'm at school. Tal's been bringing him 
all the work he's missed. Yesterday, we were just hanging out in his room. And he said something funny. And we just started laughing. And couldn't stop for ages. I love him so much. I love him so much. Well, I guess that's my life update. Scribble, scribble. Anyway, I'd better go. Charlie will be here soon. We're going to a New Year's Eve party tonight. A guy in my year is having a big house party with fireworks and stuff. It's the first time Charlie will have been back with a bunch of people from school. We can always leave if it's we can always leave if it's awful. But I'm excited. Ready? Dream. I'm excited to just hang out at a party with my boyfriend. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Hey. Hey. How's my tiny boy? Earth? He's missed you. The dog sitters are here. Hello, Nicky boy. Hi, Gramps. Hi, Grandma. Have a good time, boys. We will. I wish I could drive us there. Not until you pass your test. You know we can leave if it's too... We, you know we, we can leave if it's too stressful. Yeah, okay. Ha ha, chatter chatter, ha ha. Happy New Year! They're here! I'm glad you came. Me too. We didn't know if you'd come. Yeah. We have to leave at, like, half twelve, though. Nick and Charlie, come dance. Hey. Charlie, I haven't seen you in so long. Hey, Charlie, how come you were off school? We're going outside for a bit now. Bye. Let me nap on you. We've still got an hour until midnight. Exactly. I need to recharge. Are you sure you don't mind, um, people seeing? Char, everyone knows we're dating. Yeah, but you, on you only came out to school people a few months ago. It was five months ago. Stop worrying about me. Wait! No kisses until midnight. What? Since when was that a rule? It's a rule. You are so mean. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoosh, boom, boom. Happy New Year.
whoosh, boom, whoosh, whoosh, boom, whoosh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I love you. I love you. Boom, boom, whoosh. March. March 5th. Geoff says I need to start writing in my journal again. Well, he didn't say I had to. He just said it might be helpful. He's probably right. He's usually right, which is quite annoying, actually. But I haven't written in here since last summer, and a lot has happened since then. I can't believe I've been having therapy for like four months already. I hated the idea at first, even though I admitted I needed it. And things didn't exactly get off to a great start. Uh, what with the waiting time and me just spri spiraling after that. Things got bad really fast. Spending a few weeks in a psych ward was obviously not my plan. And there were some ups and downs there, sure. But I think I got lucky because the place I went to was re I, the place I went to was actually helpful. I started therapy there, not with Geoff, but the therapist was really nice. How are you settling in? The how are you settling in, Charlie? Um, it's not too bad. I had a nu nutritionist too. I know that isn't the case for all psych wards. Charlie Spring, meal planning. We weren't allowed mobile phones, but I could still call from, uh, I could still call from the ward phone. Tell Tao I like the movie. Some of the rules kind of sucked, and some days were awful, but a lot of it was fine. I even made a couple of friends. At first, I think there was a big part of me that didn't even want to get better. That just wanted to keep pretending I was fine. So I didn't have to put, uh, put in the effort to change. I can't do it. I can't. I just can't. Yes, you can, Charlie. I know you can. I was so scared of losing control. Eating was something I could control. But I wasn't fine. I had have a mental illness, anorexia. I also get got i also got uh diagnosed with ocd which makes a lot of sense too geoff says they're connected 
Hearing the words was scary, but also relief a relief. Anorexia and OCD, apparently. Well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Everything finally made a bit of sense, especially the OCD stuff, which I don't think even Nick really knew about. It's like there's all these rules in my head in my head about food, ordering and co uh, collecting and eating in certain ways at certain times. And if I break the rules, I feel like I'm going to die. I feel like I'm going to die. My brain is literally so weird. Being in hospital didn't make me completely free of mental illness, not even close, but it got me out of the deep end. Ready to get home, Charlie? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Charlie. Um, you too? Geoff is my therapist now that I'm back home. Nervous, nervous. He thinks he's hilarious. I don't know if humor is appropriate for a therapist, but it makes sessions slightly, sli slightly bearable, since I hate talking about my feelings. I like him. Me and Geoff have talked about what's happened in my life over the past couple years. It's weird I knew that bad things had happened. Getting outed. The bullying. Ben. But I hadn't processed any of it. I hadn't realized it, all, it, had, it had all affected me so much. Geoff says it's trauma. Kind of a dramatic word, I guess. But Geoff says trauma can come from all sorts of things. Geoff says I'm making progress. But I think I'm realizing now that there might never be an end. This could be something that will always be there in the back of my mind, waiting to emerge again and bring all of the uh, bad feelings back. Some days I'm fine, but others I wake up and I know, and, and I just know. I know that, I know that day is going to be awful. But Geoffs also says the bad days will get less common, and I can just enjoy my life and hardly ever stress out about food. Some days I think he's full of shit, but some days I feel hopeful. I guess I'll have to keep trying. So I went back to school after Christmas holiday. It's been okay. A couple of teachers knew uh, what had happened. Just come to me if you need anything, okay? Mr. Fruk and Miss Singh have been really supportive. Ten minute break, okay, Charlie? Especially as rugby has been kind of hard. I think Tori, Tori feel, feels guilty about everything. She shouldn't, but her mental health hasn't been great either. But she's made this new friend called Michael. I 
I don't think they're dating, but Tori won't tell me anything. He's kind of the opposite of her, but they seem to get along in a way I can't quite explain. They just click. Maybe Nick and... Maybe like Nick and me. So I guess they... They've... They've... So I guess there've been uh, some changes. And maybe I won't be getting back to normal. Whatever that is. I think that's okay though. It's not going to be a straightforward journey. <laughs> Since when is anything I do straight? Okay, that's not funny. Really, I had a self-harm relapse in mid-January. Me and Nick were eating dinner at mine, and we just got into a silly little argument. We were both tired and stressed, and I would had a really bad day, so I was being shitty. He left, and yeah, I just got the urge. It wasn't anyone's fault. Relapses happen. Tori and Nick, or Tori told Nick what had happened, and he came back later that night. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I know, it's okay. I'm so sorry about earlier. No, I'm sorry. It was my fault, Char. Shh. I'm such an idiot. You're not. I don't know why it happened. It's okay. It's just a bad day. I was doing so well. I know. We made up. Mum and Dad even let him stay over to keep an eye on me. Not really necessary, but I wasn't complaining. Nick, can you come up here? Um, is that... Are your parents okay with that? Please? Stand. <laughs> Your bed's tiny. Well, it's not a double like yours. <laughs> Today was so shit. Yeah. I love Nick. I love Nick so, so much. But what I've realized through all of this is that we need other people too. Want to come around and hang out with Henry tomorrow? Are dog cuddles your solution to everything? Pretty much, yeah. Um, realize that that all of this is that we need other people too. Siblings. Parents. Friends. More friends. A therapist. 
even te even teachers sometimes. That doesn't mean our our re relationship isn't strong. Is it morning? Yeah. Five more minutes. If anything, I think we're stronger now. Charlie? We're leaving for Nick's in like half an hour and you're still in your pajamas. Excuse me. I was doing very important therapy work. Home, ther therapy homework. Snap. Yeah, yeah. Use your mental illness as an excuse. Hey, I'm joking. You feeling okay about this spring Nelson dinner thing, though? I know big dinners aren't your fave. Yeah, I'll be okay. I've planned uh, what I'm having. And I won't, and I want to, uh, be there for Nick. He hasn't seen his dad for, like, a year, so he's pretty nervous. He's not out to him yet, is he? No, I think he wants to do it tonight. What? Just wanted to, to hug you. I need to go shower. Okay. Michael could have come tonight if you'd wanted. He's not my boyfriend. Never said he was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you okay, darling? I know you don't see much don't see him much, but it's only your dad. I don't know why he is I don't know why he insists on these big dinners whenever he comes here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I think I'm gonna come out to him. You know you don't have to, right? You don't owe him you don't owe it to him. Yeah, I know. I'm not doing it for him. I'm doing it for me. Ding dong. Will Nick's dogs be here? It be there? Yep. Yay. Nicholas, they're here. Hi. Hi. Doggies! It's so good to meet one of Nicholas's closest friends. Call me Stefan. Stefan. Um, I'm Charlie. Nice to meet you. And this is my dad. Hello, I'm Julio. Uh, how are you, Jane? Oh, not too bad, Sarah. You? You cool with this happening? Seems like a lot. Yeah, well, usually when my dad visits, we go out to a re a restaurant, but he wanted to meet Charlie, and Charlie doesn't like restaurants. Yeah, exactly. Hello, doggies. I'm your new friend, Oliver. Hi. Hi. Do we need to pretend to be plat platonic BFFs in uh, front of your dad? I mean, yeah, 
Maybe just until I talk to him about the about us. But are you gonna be okay with dinner? Nick. I'm gonna be fine. Let me worry about you this time. Peek. You can do this. I'm here for you, mate. Madge. Oh my god. Do not call me mate. Buddy, pal, bro, Charlie. Later. I grew up in a very south, in, in the very south of France near Narbonne. Ah, not far from Spain then. My parents are from the south of Spain, Almeria. But your surname. Uh, it is so English or German. Well, my father tells me we have a rather complicated family tree. Inhale, exhale. You okay? Just not sure when I'm going to do it. Maybe after dinner? I can distract everyone else. Yeah, thanks. So, Dad, has Nick told you how he met Charlie? No, he hasn't. Um... We got sat together at school, and then Charlie joined the rugby, rugby team. Ah, you play rugby, Charlie. Well, I'm not very good. Yeah, Nick was basically obsessed with getting Charlie to join. Wonder why that was. You know, the girls love rugby players. I played a bit of rugby when I was in this con country at university. It is a very attractive sport to women. Have you, have neither of you boys found uh, girlfriends? No, I guess not. Ah, well, there's still time. Well, actually, Nick doesn't need a girlfriend. Because... Dig. Don't you fucking dare. Look at her eyes. Death stare. Why do you always do this? What? I'm just trying to help. David. Boys. Look, this is so stupid. Dad, Charlie's my boyfriend. Surprise. I'm bisexual. He's gay. I'm surprised you haven't worked, worked it out from how much I talk about him on the phone. I've been stressing out about how to tell you for months, but you know what? I'm on, I, I honestly do, don't care what you think. You don't even care enough to see us more than once a year.
and you. My whole life, you've tried to bully me into hating myself just because you hate yourself. Well, it's not working. I like who I am. I like my life. So why don't you fuck off and, uh, and focus on your own problems? Nick? You're just gonna let Tim talk to me like that. Be quiet, David. We've heard enough from you. You have not grown up into the man I had hoped you would be, David. As if you have any right to say that when you barely see your children. I'm fed up of both of you. Mommy, why is everyone shouting? Just a little argument, baby. Nick, are you okay? I actually think I am. I know it wasn't what I planned, but it felt good to say all of that. Want a hug anyway? Yeah. Nikki. I knew something would go wrong with with I knew something would go wrong this evening. Sorry. No. I'm glad you said what you said. Especially to your dad. He needed to hear it. Want me to talk to him for you? No, I... I want to talk to him properly. Leaving, then. Nicholas, I'm sorry. I know I cancel plans. I know I don't see you boys enough. I want to be better. Well, show it then. Don't just say it. I wanted to see you in Paris last summer. I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to... To see you on my birthday. I wanted to too see you. Anyway, uh, but you weren't there. I was happy to, uh, meet your, for your boyfriend. I don't really understand these things, but he seems like a very nice young man. He is. I'm not going to, I'm not going back to Paris until next Friday. Perhaps we can do something before I go? Charlie could come too. Yeah, okay. Nick? Yeah? I had an idea. Sorry about all the drama. Oh, we're very used to drama in our house. I think you handled that very well. Thanks. I don't want to go. Oliver, they can't come home with us. They live here. No. Ugh, God, it's just so cringy. He's made such a big deal out of telling our dad, like, Psh! such an attention seeker. Probably his drama queen of a boyfriend's influence. Haha. <laughs> 
Yeah, mate, exactly. Freak. Kick. Crack. What the fuck? You are a pathetic little man. Talk about my brother like that again, and I'll end you. But mommy, why can't we have a dog? I'm sorry, Ollie. It's not fair. Mom? Um, could I possibly stay out a bit, long bit longer? Me and Nick thought, like, since he passed his test, we'd go out for a drive. Maybe, like, to the arcade, or I think the Milkshake Cafe stays open late. I promise I'll only be an hour or two. Back home by 11, okay? Really? Yes. You're nearly 16. I trust you. Sorry I haven't been very good at all. Sorry I haven't been good at that. Thanks, Mom. Click. Vroom. Wait, this is the one. I want to be with you. Char. <laughs> so where are we gonna go? I don't know. Let's just drive and find out. Heart Stopper will continue in Volume 5. Uh, read more of the comic online, heartstoppercomic.tumblr.com to pass.io slash series slash heartstopper. Here is the mini comic. Uh, a Heartstopper mini comic. Uh, firsts. First kiss. First date. I guess I never have any reason to go out to places like this. Well, now you do. First morning together. Um, I made pancakes. Sorry if that's weird. First time cooking together. Oh my gosh. What happened? I did say I can't cook. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> First sick day. Nathan, you need anything before I go to work? Some paracetamol? Paracetamol? First weekend away. First time meeting the friends. Yusuf, we're so excited to meet you. We've heard so much about you. He's cute. First, make up after an argument. Sorry. Sorry. 
first suspicious student. Oh my goodness. Um, am I interrupting? <laughs> no. That's funny. First, I love you. What did you just say? All right, back to this part. Is there any new? Uh, Charles, Charlie Spring, Nick's boyfriend, uh, school year, year 11, age 15. Uh, birthday is April 27th. His fun fact is I love to read. Uh, Nicholas, Nick Nelson. Charlie's boyfriend. He's in year 12, age 17. September 4th is his birthday. His fun fact is, I'm great at baking cakes. Tao Su. Uh, Charlie's friend. In year 11, age 16. His birthday is September 23rd. His fun fact. I have a film review blog. Victoria Tori Spring. Charlie's sister. In year 12, age 16. Her birthday is April 5th. And her fun fact, I hate almost everyone. <laughs> I hate almost everyone. L. Argent, Charlie's friend, uh, in year 12, age 16. Her birthday is May 4th, and her fun fact, uh, I like making clothes. Tara Jones, Darcy's girlfriend. In year 12, age 16, her birthday is July 3rd, and her fun fact is I love dance, especially ballet. Darcy Olson, Tara's girlfriend. Uh, she's in school... Year, uh, year 12, age 17. Uh, her birthday is January 9th. And her fun fact, I once ate a whole jar of mustard for a dare. That's nasty. Alad Last, Charlie's friend. In year 11, age 15. His birthday is August 15th, and his fun fact, uh, I want to make a podcast. Sarah Nelson, Nick's mom. David Nelson, Nick's brother. Sahar, Zahid, Tara, Darcy, and Elle's friend. Uh, Jane Spring. Charlie's mom, Julio Spring, Charlie's dad, Oliver Spring, uh, Charlie's bro, Mr. Ajay, 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 uh, art teacher, Mr. Farouk, science teacher, Nelly, 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 Nick's dog, uh, Stefan, Hornier. That's a new one. And Henry. Uh, Stefan's Nick's dad. And Henry is Nick's dog number two. In, that's, a, that's a number two. How about second dog? 
Mix dog number two. Okay. The Sutao. The Sutao. I like that. Third wheeling. <laughs> Third wheel part two. They've been making out for like a half an hour. Why are you so obsessed with me? I just... I just ship you to so much. Fuck off. <laughs> Third wheel part three. Literally just trying to do my maths homework here. It was just a peck where we weren't even making out. Still inappropriate school behavior, and I will report you to the authorities. Homophobia. Charlie Francis Spring. Now, who's the third wheel, huh? The Sutao. Truce. Truce. That's funny. Alright. Mental health resources. For information, help, support, and guidance about mental health and mental illnesses. Or illness. Uh, please check out the following resources. Meat Eating Disorders Mind OCD UK Young Minds Mind Out LGBTQ Mental Health Service Rethink Mental Illnesses oh, Rethink Mental Illness uh, switchboard LGBT plus helpline. Author's note. Hello everyone. I hope you, I really hope you have enjoyed the fourth volume of Heartstopper. Can you believe we're already on the fourth volume? I cer certainly can't. This volume mostly followed Charlie's mental health journey. I wanted to explore some of his struggles with his eating disorder, but to always show that recovery is possible, and that even though it may not be a straightforward journey, things can get better. But romantic love does not cure mental illness, as movies often suggest. This is something Nick learns in this volume. Nick can be there for him, but Charlie f has to find his own path for re his own path to recovery. So much has happened since th the last volume. I got to go on a UK book tour in early 2020, release heart a heart starper coloring book. And was finally able to announce that a TV adapt adaptation uh, is in the works with Netflix and Seesaw Films. None of this would have ha would would have been possible without all of all you brilliant, passionate readers. I'm so I'm so so grateful. For your support and love for the series. A huge thanks, as always, to the wonderful team working on Heartstopper. My amazing agent, Claire Wilson. My incredible editor, Rachel Wade. My awesome 
publicist uh, Emily Thomas. Uh, everyone at Hatchet, 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 uh, who is a part of the Heartstopper journey, and all of the in international publishers around the world who are now supporting the series too. I know that many of you are set, sad that the next volume will be the final volume of Nick and Charlie's story. I'm sad too, but I promise that it shall be magical and, and heartwarming, heartwarming uh, and full of queer joy. See you in volume five, Alice. And... Volume 5 is not the last volume. Volume 6 will be created here soon. So Volume 5 is not la the last volume. Collect the whole Heartstopper series. Heartstopper... Uh, Heartstopper Volume 2, or Heart Volume 1 right there, uh, Heartstopper Volume 3, The Heartstopper Coloring Book. Read more about Nick and Charlie. Solitaire. This winter, Nick and Charlie. Loveless, or read Alice's other Prose Fiction, Loveless, Radio Silence, I Was Born For This. Here's the back of the book. Yikes, Charlie's Journal. Oh, Charlie's Journal. Gay Agenda. Go away, I'm reading. Hang in there. I'm tired. Hold on, let me overthink this. Overthink this. <laughs> me and Charlie. Nick's journal. I think I'm in love with Charlie. This summer with him and our friends has, has been uh, amazing. And I want to say I love you, but I guess I, I've had other things to worry about lately. Praise for Heartstopper. Absolutely delightful. Sweet, romantic, kind. Beautifully placed. I love this book. Rainbow Rowell, author of Carry On. And that was Heartstopper, Volume 4, by Al Sosman.